it. We're leaving. <laughs> we're, we're doing something. I can't even get into my phone. <laughs> Come on. What's going on? Okay. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> Please pardon me. I'm having issues. I need to go to my channel. Make sure I'm live. The title says fixing an old ornament. But as you can see, I have a guest. <laughs> this is Miss Dawn on the other screen over there. <laughs> yeah, she's right over there. So Miss Dawn is hanging out with me today. I couldn't upgrade the title, but I will afterwards. And after this live, you will be able to find Dawn the Crafty Visage. Her YouTube link down below in the description after the live, you guys. Sorry, gotta wait. Um, hello everyone. Um, uh, there's Mr. Jim and Crystal's Creation and Janine and Linda. Hello, hello. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, we are making ornaments though. Um, Dawn is going to be making an ornament and I'm going to be fixing a rather large one that is like ancient. <laughs> Um, Hello, Janine. Hi, Jim. Hi, Linda. There's Miss Sandy. Hi, Sandy. Hi, um, Hello. little bit of housekeeping. I am tonight finishing up my mailing for Christmas cards. Okay, I'm finishing mailing out Christmas cards. So, um, if you're not on my list, if you're not sure if you're on my list, you got to get it in tonight at some point. Maybe even tomorrow morning, you know. Just email me, chatwithsassy at gmail.com. I only had 62 people on my, and that's including some, some family. <laughs> some worthy family. Um, so, 62, um cards are going out this little card set these are my hand hand done ones there's a dozen of them and i'm thinking i'm gonna do them as a giveaway and um we're gonna give them away to somebody that's live tonight as a dozen two four six eight ten twelve so you have to be in the live tonight and um, just comment that you want the cards. Well, we'll comment that later when I go to give them away. And uh, you'll get all 12. And uh, sorry, no envelopes. <laughs> I'm out of envelopes. Can't have envelopes. But uh, yeah, it'll just be 12 cards. I'll put them in a little bubble mailer. And, uh, yeah, so I know Miss PJB Stamper would probably like some. She, I think she got them last year. But these are going to be in a giveaway today. So they can go out tomorrow in the mail. And then if you've got co-workers or whatever, you can just fill one out and send it. Oh, welcome home, Pam. Yay, Great. Pam. Greetings from land. Specifically, Marysville. Sweet. Okay, and then I got happy mail. I got happy mail I want to show you. This one is from Maureen. Oh, it's a happy birthday one. Look at that. We got some sparkly green under there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I have that foil. Wicked Witch, I think, is what that's called. And this cute little pokey dot. And the birthday. I wonder if that's hand done. Not an embossing folder, but hand done. Because those look like little hand done circles. Holy moly. It might be. I'm, I'm just reading. <laughs> so, yes. Lovely. I love it. And that is from Ms. Maureen. And that is actually going in for my December thingy that I'm making. So, I'm going to put that in a different pile. And then this one is from They. And it's another birthday one. Look at how cute. Oh, it's pop. It's a bubble sticker, is what that is. 
it's like a, a puffy sticker? Yeah, but it's like, oh, I don't know, it's weird, but it's cool. And it's, if you turn it just right, it, uh, you guys can't see that, but it's got a little shine to it. It's kind of cool. That's pretty. I like that foiled paper. Yeah, th this, this has some shiny bits in it. It's kind of cool. It's like sparkly. Retry that. Donna Nipper. Hello, hello. Cordelia. Hello, hello. Hello, Okay, so this one was from Miss Vade. This one is also going into my thing I'm making. This one is also from Vay, but it's a Christmas one. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful little sticker over some beautiful paper. Ugh. Some fun little scissy. I don't know if they use scissors, but it kind of looks like the scissors. The scissor cuts. You guys remember those? Mm, so beautiful. And <laughs> this is going to go downstairs on my my tree. I'll have to show you guys my. It matches your decorations. Yes. Oh, and this one is from oh, our go. special guest. This is from Dawn over there. Look at. Oh. Look at it. That <laughs> She's like, oh, that's, yeah, it's in my hands. You cannot have it back. <laughs> Look at that. It's one of those fun little, okay? Look it. But that's what it is. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> oh, she didn't leave me a special message right there, though. So I'm sad. No. <laughs> I did it on the inside, right? It opens up. Oh, she did it extra, extra <laughs> special. Holy mo! Oh, look at that beautiful handwriting. Oh, I love that. But yeah, see, you can, you you can stand it up. Aren't they the cutest? I actually made one of these. I think I melted out though. I may still have it. I honestly don't know. But yeah, that's super cute. He's a cute little cricket. snowman. A little cricket. cricket, cricket snowman. That's beautiful. Is this a birthday or Christmas one? Let me read. Birthday and holiday. <gasps> Where am I going to put it? I'll put it over <laughs> here. <laughs> I'll put it in my other one. All right. <clears throat> let me let me spotlight your desk. Maybe. How do I do that again? Oh, Donna. I forget what I'm doing. That's cute. Zoom. Do you have more cards? Was that it? That was it. Only only the four little cards. Because I opened oh. a lot of Happy Meal the other day. So what gotcha. are you making? I spotlighted um, you. You saw what? I spotlighted you. What are you making? Oh, you spotlighted me. Oh, well, I, I, I don't have a... I don't have a something made ahead. I don't either. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to use this little tiny um, music book that I got to cut out some circles and, and oh, that's create... Oh, cute. Um, create some little um paper ornaments using some music paper and we'll adorn it with some some stuff <laughs> some some ribbons some stuff i guess yeah that's it and then if i have time maybe i can make a little other something else something else <laughs> we'll see how it goes all right that's it and I am, so these are little bits that have fallen, like, where is it at? Like these ones, not that one. This one has actually fallen off my tr my fake tree. I saved these little bits. This has fallen off of something else. I think this is off of, I don't know. But uh, you just save the little bits. <laughs> and some of this came off of this. Which doesn't have any clacker, and it's plastic, but I was like, one of these things, this one, this, look at this hot mess, oh my goodness. This one has, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how it went. These were on the outside, but I'm going to stick them on the inside, so when it dangles, it'll go clackety clack. And then I'm going to try to adhere these on here nice and cool-like. Well, look at... <gasps> Ew! Why, why am I getting glued on? <laughs> that was like fresh glue, too. Like, where did it come from? It's so weird. 
That's so weird. Holiday boogers. I know, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've got my Ryobi warming up over here. <laughs> I got some little bits rolling out. I'm using leftover ribbon. I've got it all, you guys. I'm just gonna try and make you it work. It just try and make it work. Pam is <clears throat> suffering from post-travel brain tiredness. Aww. I I feel Can that I have that from the birthday bash. <laughs> it's a week long of birthday birthday bashing. <laughs> and then um, Crystal, sorry, nope, no new cards today. Um, but don't let that discourage you. It just may be that my male person decided they didn't want to show up today, which has happened. <laughs> Uh, which has happened but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna D because I want to save the gold ribbon so I'm just gonna take out the parts I want to save and toss out the stuff we don't need like that you can't save that I'm sure somebody could, but not me. That's going in the garbage. Rubbish. Rubbish, I say. Hi, Deborah. Deborah. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to experiment. I'm going to use my kiss spray on this paper. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to find out. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. My kiss spray... You may have to dry it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it a smooth paper? Yeah, it's smooth. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I might not even like it. Let's see. <laughs> dry. I've been moving my craft base around I'm trying to I just built a pegboard to put up on my wall and I have to bring it up when I gain some strength back <laughs> <laughs> my strength that was depleted just bring putting the pegboard together right <laughs> so Jim yeah. says 10 years ago he was on the third day of a 23 day eastbound Panama Canal cruise. 23 days! Wow. That's amazing. And uh, the day before they was swimming with the dolphins. 10 years ago, Jim. Are you going to do it again? Sounds like that needs to be uh, another one in the works for you, Mr. Jim. Do it again! <laughs> I used to date a guy from Panama. Jim when I was says, in uh, high school. Right? That's cool. Yeah, back then. I'm still bad with geography, but I was like, Panama, where's that? <laughs> <laughs> Florida? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this these little bells are not in the best of condition. So I'm going to scrub them up with some alcohol. And um, I'm just going to paint over the rust and see how that goes. Just tell them, no, you did not miss much yet we are just beginning yes just lm i saw you yesterday during debbie j's live hopping welcome welcome yeah. um so jim says maybe europe i need cooler weather he and my mg isn't a good thing oh i understand that and then he's think you know thank goodness for facebook memories right I love how they're like, 10 years ago, you posted this. And I'm like, oh my gosh. It's been 10 years. Right. 
<laughs> okay, so I've got some alcohol. This is a three parts alcohol, one part water. Technically, it's 80% ish. Oops. But um, on that one. <laughs> we're just going to scrub these bells. Scrub the bells. Scrub the bells. Oh, I have a rag. I don't need you, rag. Sorry. So I am doing like a very light spray. And then I'm just taking the next page and kind of smushing it into it. And it kind of moves it around. With... Cool. And it covers the next one. Covers the next one. So that's perfect. And then I'll dry them all. I don't think I have any. I mean, probably should use some like primer on this, but I don't think I have a spray primer. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. That one's kind of muckety. I am I'm so in the dark about what I'm doing. I don't even know how many pieces of um paper I need. <laughs> <laughs> well, think mini. So you can probably get a couple out of one sheet. Right. Oh, Ve is in COVID recovery. Oh, Ve, oh, I'm so sorry. Teresa! Healing energy, especially before the holidays. Right. My daughter's not feeling 100% today. I'm like, is it like you ate something bad or is it like something else do we gotta cancel your doctor's appointments tomorrow like gotta know these things poor kids got appointments tomorrow and i'm like mm, you can't go if you're not feeling good <laughs> right i wonder if i could sand these a little Get some of that rust off. Well, look at that. Just sand that right off. I don't know how I like that. So I'm going to save some paper in case I want to um, do something different. <laughs> I won't spray the whole book. The whole book. that I suggest going to Russia. Yeah, I don't think I will be visiting Russia anytime soon. Right. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Actually looks pretty nice. Oh, good idea shining those bells up. Yeah, even though it's taking the gold off, we won't really see that in there anyway. Take some brown paint and uh, kind of distress it or somehow make it look rusty. Rustic. Yeah, I I'm taking off the rust. <laughs> Oh no, it's uh it was it's ugly rust. It's not pretty rust. Just filing the yuckies off. How's every I was just thinking that, Pam. Pam is always in tune with me. As I'm scrubbing this, I'm like, hmm, I wonder if Lunar Paste will stick to it. There you go. 
And then she's like lunar paste. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, that's what I was just thinking. Yeah. I have a little I could use up too to do around maybe my edges of my circles of the stuff you gave me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a little bit goes a long ways, huh? Yes, and I need to use it because it's such a it's it's a little bit but a lot. Right. But it's a little bit that has like you, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have enough others to keep it right. Other, body to keep it moist so it keeps getting kind of dry yeah that's what happened when i got down to the bottom of my lunar paste yeah i was like it, it's weird because all up until if there was a little bit in there it's like right. you gotta use it use it yeah. or lose it yep and that's what i'm thinking and that's why i didn't want to say it's such a little bit that i have because it's not it's a lot but it's just a small, there's not enough of it to keep it moist for a long time. Like, I've got to use it. Yeah. But there's so much there that I'm like, how can I use all this? <laughs> so I guess that's what I'll do today is, yeah, use it up on this, the edges of this. And it makes it shiny. Shiny, shiny. Hi, Kim in Alaska. So, yeah, I get to use lunar paste with you today. Yay. Yeah, me too. Ha <laughs> ha. Lunar paste. <laughs> if if you guys don't make cards, if you're just joining me live today and you're like, oh, this is not cards. Yeah, we, we do. I love all the crafts. We do all sorts of crafty things. Mostly it is cards, but there are times that I get, get the other stuff out and I'm super excited. And right now we're using yeah. lunar paste. Mondays are a mystery after all. Yep. I think if I do a thin layer, oh my gosh, even you just putting that just thinly over that. Look it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta do mm -hmm. two at a time so that I don't stick my fingers in it. Gloria was thinking lunar paste also. Sweet. Jim says, so steel wool would work too. Yes. Um, I was thinking that as I was scrubbing this. I have steel wool, but I don't have like good steel. I have the kitchen stuff that has the soap in it. Oh, SOS? Yeah. So I probably need to get me some plain steel wool because that would shine this up too. Right. Steel wool for the craft room. That's where all my kitchen supplies end up. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then we're like, oh, wait, what did we do with that? Check the craft room. <laughs> so my ornaments, I don't have a big tree. I have a little tree, and it's so little that it wouldn't hold anything too much bigger than something mini. <laughs> but I like to take ornaments, especially like the handmade ones, and use them as gift toppers with the tag. Oh, Hang that's them a good on idea. Gifts. Okay. Yeah. So, I usually tie them to my tag and then tie it, tie them both to the, the gift. Thanks, Pam. <laughs> he says, tie something to the end of it to make it, or put some, give it a handle. <laughs> Fine. I give it a handle. Like that and then I can just paint the tops later. That's awesome. Look at look at that. Look at that pretty gold shine. I know. I put a little bit too much on. I have to kind of that was probably super 
super loud. Oh, that's so exciting. I actually didn't hear it. Oh, good. Yeah, I heard you moving stuff around, but it didn't sound like you were die cutting. All right, so I have a ton of circles here. I, like I said, I'm not sure how many I need, but I'm going to start by folding them all in half. Oh, and for my moderators, um, or pretty much anybody that has me on Messenger or my text messages, my watch is up and running. So if I miss something and you're like trying to get a hold of me because <laughs> I'm ignoring the comments, you know how that rolls, you can message me and my, my watch will light up. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And if your wrist is facing the right way, we can all see what they wrote you. <laughs> yes. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so I put these on the end of a pipe cleaner so that um, it can dangle and dry while I'm working on the other one. And then I can hang them up to dry. And then I will... Says, where's Simon while well, you're inventing a new use for hammer paste? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've used lunar paste on so many things, though. I love it. Use it on fabric used it on um, glass mirrors although if you do it on glass and mirrors you have to be careful because it will pick off like you can pick it off in a solid sheet it's pretty cool oh that's neat so which would be a good idea if you need to make like embellishments or something you could yeah. like do lunar paste things and then peel them off and then glue them somewhere else. Did I cut them or something? I if it would die cut. Um, yeah, because if you put it on paper and then die cut it, yeah, I think so. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. <clears throat> So I'm just going to hang those out the way so they can dry. This, these suit sides already dried already. Look at that. I'm thinking my glue tape runner is not going to be my choice of... <laughs> Wait, so why did... I already oh. sent a text. <laughs> oh, you know what it is, is because I've got... Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Okay, try again. Apparently, I can't have my phone on Do Not Disturb. Oh, that messes with the, the that messes with the watch too. Yeah, um, Pam, Pam, you should have went through because regular text. I have you in my skip the mute thingy. Well, that really, yeah. So why did that? Because my phone is on the holder. Okay, let me close this out. Do do do. See, somebody messaged and, me, and, and I, Jim sent two text messages. He said. Yeah, <laughs> that's because I had it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. With it. There's a test. Whoopsie. See, there it is. Hi, ECR. So maybe if I turn the volume down. Okay, let's send another one, you guys. Look at me doing tests on my watch. Send another one. Facebook Messenger. Should, should ding. Facebook oh, Messenger here. should ding. Oh, yeah, 
that's good. That's a smart way. Facebook Messenger. Hi, Tracy. Oh, hi, T. Oh, look at my little bell. It's so cute. I'm not quite sure. I'm just continuing to go. I should have tried to maybe look up and see how many um, round circles I needed to do this honeycomb um, ornament. Okay. With Let that dangle paper. there. <laughs> Testing Facebook watch. <laughs> see, see, ding it. Okay, so as long as I turn my phone on, I just have to turn it down, not do not disturb, and then I can I can get all the dingies and the chimies off my watch. <laughs> oh, awesome. Leah! Leah! I forgot to message you. Leah, send me your address. I can't mail you a Christmas card if I ain't got your address. Gosh. <laughs> you can send it to me at uh, chat with sassy. Like I can spell chat with sassy at gmail.com. Um, send me your address for a Christmas card. If you don't do Christmas, just put your address and then say no Christmas. I've got two people that I have for no Christmas. But they're still getting a card, this mailing. It's just going to be a regular card. And um, our new person, too. Just, 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 what is her name? Just something, just, just LM. If you want a Christmas card or a non-holiday card, you, too, can email me your address. And I will put you on my list. I don't have a list yet this year, but next year, maybe. Yeah. Maybe next year. But yeah. So yeah, just email me your addresses. Even if you're out of country. I've got a Germany one that I get to mail to this year. <laughs> South Africa. That's my really? Kate. Yeah, I send one to Kate. She, she she watches. She doesn't comment. She's a watcher. She's a lurker. But uh yeah, she won a gift certificate during the birthday giveaway, and uh, I just double-checked. Her address is still good. It's in South Africa. I love it. Sweet. I can say I mail people in South Africa. Um, I now have somebody on my list for Germany. Of, of course, my regular Canadians. That's all right, Leah. We'll put it in the mail, and if it arrives, it'll be extra, extra happy mail. <laughs> I'd rather send one and it didn't make it than to say, ah, I didn't send one at all, you know. They're having postal strikes, Leah says. It's understandable. I mean, the postal, it, the postal everywhere is just a mess. Christmas in January. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> Maureen Pryor, hello, hello. So I stuck all my half circles together with just a line of blue down the middle. Now I'm taking all of those and I am sticking them with one line of blue on the outside. Let's see if I can make some little paper. Musical honeycomb ornaments. So, ooh, this thing was dirty. 10,000 years stuck in a bin. <laughs> Not a lamp, I know, but it kind of reminded me of that. 10,000 years stuck in a lamp will give you such a crick in the neck. Quick, what movie is that from? <laughs> uh, Aladdin? Yup. I, when that movie came out, I bought the tape soundtrack. When soundtracks were still on tape. And I wore out 
play reverse play again reverse <laughs> i knew all of the songs all of it i knew it all now i'm thinking i needed to add some more okay let's add some more mm. look at the age okay so we have our bell on ice and clean Sometimes, you know, and it's still got its marks and stuff. You know, it's age. It's showing its age. We don't mind. Prince Ali. Ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's right. Ali a blah, blah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Ali. Fabulous he. Yeah. I used to know the words. Let's put it that way. Although, if we played the movie right now, I could sing along. I'm not going to lie. I could totally sing along. I don't know how oh many gosh. times I drew the genie too, man. I was I was really into that. Okay, so I think this ribbon will be just fine to dangle our our bits, but we What's need right I need to get it in there to dangle. So we're gonna grab some pipe cleaner, right? And we can use that to help tie things on. So if we do that, will those go through there? Oh um, my gosh, what am I missing? I don't <laughs> am I know. pulling something off? <laughs> Let me see. I gotta think about this. <laughs> Zoomed with me during Disney trivia on the cruise? Yeah. <sighs> Delays. He's got 75 golden camels. And to view them, he charges no fee. <laughs> I think I'm missing a step. Uh oh. Is it not turning out right? Maybe I don't have enough, um, or maybe I have too many, and that's why. So I got a single. This one should be open, which it is. Okay, here we go. I zoomed you so we could see what you're you're doing. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. Cheryl, hello, hello. <sighs> Cheryl is doing pretty good since her knee replacement last Wednesday. Oh, that's, that's good. Right. That's good. Okay, I need three dangles. And I think... What if I just chop this into three parts and then go from there? I don't know. Okay. How long is this thing? Probably won't need it all. So if I just take, if I just take 24 or t whatever this is, 21 inches, maybe 22, I don't know. I can't read, you guys, don't mind me. Split screen, yes. It is just taking forever, you guys. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> yes, I love it. <sighs> All right. <laughs> I love it. Now, if I take too long, they can message me. I love it. Oh, did he? Did you get the message? What yes, did I did. He said split oh, screen because <laughs> I had to <laughs> spotlight it. And then I'll divide this one in half. Uh -huh. 
I don't know if I didn't have. I'm trying to figure out like what I'm missing. I thought maybe I did. Maybe I do do the backing. I don't remember, but I'll do this one a little bit longer. I don't know how much would that leave there. I was going to. Oh yeah, let me plug that in. That works. That works. I think. Okay, so I've got my three ribbons for my three doodads. And what I'm thinking is I'll put the bell on, then send the ends, I'll put them on the, I'll send this through, tie it up, and pull it through the top. That will work. Okay, so there's for the bells. We'll get that over there. I what did are you doing building something for the top of the bell. Yeah, I have all of these little lovely things. I've got some leftover red ribbon here. Sweet. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, I've got the ribbon that I think will work still. I don't need that piece. I've got my glue gun cooking over there. I've got this little guy. And what I'm thinking. I got to check my bells. Oh, you guys, they're so good. <laughs> Hello, Jim. Yes, I'm good. A little under the weather today, but at least uh, presenting this way, no one can catch my cooties. That, right? <laughs> yeah, this weekend wore me out. <laughs> All right, let me try. Maybe I can get some lunar paste around the edges of my. Mm. Yeah, um, I just um, that was my just a, just a sneeze, Jim. I'm all good. <laughs> I'm gonna need to put my bells on because <laughs> they're gonna be. With their bells on. Yeah, I gotta yank them through the top so. Water should I put in this lunar paste if I want to loosen it up? Um, probably just a drop to try. I feel like it's really thick. It's like a. Yeah, I guess I could just do it a little at a time on my finger with the. So I'm just tying the ends into a knot. So who's got all their Christmas cards done for the year? Well, I've got or mine. Cards or... I've got mine. Um, I've got mine in a pile with their envelopes and who they're going to go to. So when I print my list, all I got to do is fill out the card, label the card, label the envelope and they're go good to go. <laughs> so hopefully it won't We're take me too my, long. Oh, but yeah, well, that's good. I've picked out all of my 62 cards for the people. Okay, that one is way too long. So we'll just shorten that one up a little bit. But we can do that in there. Okay. I feel like that's what I missed. I feel like I missed a um, a gluing spot in between all of my little honeycomb ditches, places. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something. I don't want that falling in, so I'm going to do that. A little dab will do you. So they say. <laughs> Hello, Leah. Up late again tonight, eh? Okay. So I've put my pipe cleaner through. I've wrapped or put the uh, little bell strings on. So they should just pull right through. Ha! Look at that. Got it? Ooh. Yeah. Well, good. One of us was successful. 
but I don't like how long that one is. Maybe I shouldn't have tied them in a knot. I don't know. We'll find out here in a hot second. Okay, there's the end of you. Where's the end of you? There's the end of you. And where's the end of you? Right there. Okay. Pokey tool! Pokey tool! I need you, Pokey tool. I'm trying to figure out how to get my bells to dangle. But I don't want them all at the same height. Because then... I think they won't clack very good. I just wanted it to make a bell noise, even though it's plastic. Okay. Alright. Maybe this will look better once I get the little uh, bow on. Oops, and let me close my lunar paste, because like you said, it's such a small amount, I don't want... I feel like it um, doesn't take but a minute for it to go dry. But yeah, I can't believe how long it's lasted. Yeah, it's some good stuff. And it would still be in the baggie with the other one if I didn't rip the baggie. Like when I pulled it open, the, um, you know, it pulled the whole thing open. And I was like, oh, whoops. Yeah, <laughs> I have that happen. I didn't realize my strength. <laughs> <laughs> right. could just cut that off. Why am I fussing with this? Because I want it open. I want it untied. Oh, I do love this, though. I'm going to make some more. I just think they'll be cute little gift toppers. I even picked out cards for the hubby and the kids because I'm going to wrap their presents and tuck a card into one of them. Because I was watching how this lady was doing her rap, and I'm like, I can do that. So. Oh my gosh, don't you love those? I watched a ton of those today. I'm like. I like the one that she does a collar, and then she makes the ribbon as the tie. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Yeah, I'm doing the ones where it leaves like little pockets. It leaves little pockets. One ornament down. It's my what? little uh, vintagey Christmas um, honeycomb ornament. Woohoo! Woohoo is right. My poor Glue Glen is like, why'd you turn me on? You haven't even used me yet. Sorry, Glue Gun. <gasps> Just hang out. At least you're fully charged. That's all that matters. <clears throat> this is being stubborn. Rubbish. I like that word, rubbish. Rubbish? Rubbish. It's an English word, rubbish. <laughs> That's rubbish. Yep. All right. I don't know what's going on with this I thing. <clears throat> okay. just want you to come apart. Can't you work with me? Mm -hmm. I like the shaped ones, but... Well, heck, I should have just done that a lot sooner. Okay. So, I have another another little thing that I did too and I wish I had some small bags and I'm going to get some small question is do we leave them on the inside or do we let them come out Oh, 
almost feel like we could put a bunch more in there, but. Elizabeth. Oh, wow, that's cool. These bells kind of suck. Yeah, these make great, um, like, things to hang around your places. Hang from your ceiling or in your windows or something, and you can do them up with Christmas greenery. that's where we're gonna put it I think that's just gonna be it right there make sure everybody's sticking out <laughs> these guys are funny our little chatters chatter boxes okay that's where that's going and then we need to make sure it stays put. So we're going to put this between some of them. Like so. And then we're going to go in. Actually, let's do that music. Hey, Beth. Okay. Small enough. And then we're going to have our little hanger. That'll work. Use some pipe cleaner to hold our ribbon in place so it doesn't get sucked back down. And then wrap it around so we have a nice little hanger to hang it. And then we're going to yank on these ribbons, make sure they're nice and snug. And then we're just going to kind of decorate right over that. All of that for that. And Where then, are you putting your bell once you decorate it? Um, I don't have a clue. But, no? yeah, I've had it for years. And I picked, picked it apart and tried to clean it up. And I'm like, you know what? I need to put it somewhere. So I'm trying to clean it up and get it hung. I might hang it from a window. Oh, nice. Because we have big windows. So I'm just going to take this foliage and glue it on here so it looks cool. Peel off some of this old glue. That's the nice thing about hot glue. Oh, no. <sighs> The old stuff you can just pick off. Oh. Leah <laughs> oh. well, just found the pink. Pink poo. Uh, <laughs> pink poo emoji. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> They're all playing with those silly emojis. <laughs> Ooh, hot, hot. Yep. It is filled now, Leah. Oh, you're not staying. I need you to stay. My, my hot glue is so hot <laughs> that it's not cooling off very fast. <laughs> oh, is that your new, is that, are you using your Ryobi one or? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I need it, I need it to, need it to stick. <laughs> I have a little crafty one, a little mini that you can get, but I was like, no, I found a bunch of the arrow ones that I had 
downstairs from doing crafty right classes and i was like you know what i'm bringing these up <laughs> <laughs> i am bringing these up jim says how hot is it it's really hot i mean you can see i've had it here for a while it is still clear and not set but uh hopefully <laughs> yeah which is great when you need a little wiggle room but if you need it to stay there it goes it's starting to turn but uh it's i love it don't get me wrong i'm not complaining i'm just i think it's funny that it takes me <laughs> Now, I had all those wooden balls that I brought up last week to use for a project, and I can't remember where to put them. Oh, maybe I found them. Hold on. Oh. Yes. Okay. I, want, I want to make sure that's glued on there because... I want to glue this piece here. I want this to kind of just stay put. Oh shoot, I need string. Don't glue that yet, Dawn. You need string. <laughs> Silly girl. Leah says it's minus two degree here. Hmm. And Celsius. I don't know what that is. It's cold, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think it'll melt the, the bell. But it's not sticking. The glue is not sticking to my bell. Really? Yeah, the, the hot plastic to it. Yeah, the hot glue is not sticking. I find it odd when hot glue gets finicky. Like it's like really. Right. Like why can't we stick to this material? Why can't we all stick together? <laughs> yeah, that just popped off. Hopefully it's sticking right there. Aww. It's not doing what I want it to do. Oops. That one doesn't have a full. That's going to use the little angel head. That's too little. Looks like a shrunken head. <laughs> no <laughs> shrunken heads for this project. I want a shrunken head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's totally not cool. Okay, maybe it's because it's not cool. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's on there now, though. I don't know. I think I got that one on there. Okay, so I got that there. And then let's build from there. Okay, so I have this cluster, which has this loose little guy. So let's see if we can't... Seriously, Dawn? Ugh, let's clean that. That's filthy, too. These things are older than dirt. <laughs> I know. My stuff is like that, too. You know, I get them from my yard sales and stuff, and I'm like... My stuff's usually so old that when I touch it, it turns to dirt. <laughs> right? So. Oh, and I found a little bit of rubbing alcohol is making them nice and shiny, though, so that's a plus. All right. Well, those look better. Okay, let's see if we can't squeeze a poinsettia. There's a little pokey bit here. So I'm going to see if I can squeeze a flower in there. Ooh, hey, heck yeah, look at that. Got a yeah? Flower. Yeah, I got a flower in there. 
I never thought about going to look for, I should have gone and looked for some little um, things like that, little poinsettias and some little flowers in my arsenal downstairs. And <laughs> it's taking me this long, it's taking me an hour just to do this, you guys. <laughs> well, it took me quite a while to just do my honeycomb thing because I couldn't get the, I don't know what it was, I couldn't get the glue spots right. I thought I had it right. Wow. Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, puffer, okay. puffer. I'll cool you down with a puffer. Alright. So here's the thing with that sequin, um, what do they call that? The cutout from the sequins? From the confetti? Leftovers? Yeah, this leftover stuff that you buy. It's like a meshy stuff, but it's actually the hard plastic because it's like the it's like the stuff they sell afterwards, after they punch the sequins out. Huh. That's what this stuff is. The big rolls of this stuff. That you get. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know you could buy just that stuff. Yeah, they sell it like the Dollar Tree and stuff. See this stuff? Oh yeah, look at that. This is all, that, yeah, that's what they, it's like a, it's like the insides of the sequins. Like when they punch out sequins and make sequin mixes. That's what all this is from. Ramona, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, I think I just need to leave it to cool longer because uh, it, this stuff is some crazy, crazy hot stuff. Okay, so now I've got this spot here where we can see my glue and stuff. So I will find me another flower. Ugh. Hello, Debbie J. Hi, Linda. Hi, Ramona. Ramona hasn't been feeling well. Mm, sorry. Um, all if you've got an old old piece, you know, you can just pick that hot glue right off. You know, it's not. It's really cool stuff, but it doesn't last forever. So you can pluck all that hot glue right off of your project, and then we can. Yeah, like oh, look at that! Oh, isn't that one going to be pretty right there? Wow, this stuff stinks when it melts. This so this stuff actually melts. The hot glue melts it, which is like a horrific um, smell. It's like not a. Um, I don't like that. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know either. So that'll I don't cool know. right there. How would you attach this? Besides that. Um, super glue? Oh, cool. Super glue? Ugh. Um, or like, um, thread? Maybe sew it on? Yeah, I could. Ramona says E6000. Yeah, that's a hefty yeah, duty stuff. Definitely not as successful. It like melted the sequin stuff. Like I'm gonna have to take it off. <clears throat> I'll take it off, cut off the melty part. Whoop. Yeah, that happens. Like these here, ugh. Actually, I like I these berries, but I don't like the leaves. So we just modify that and then we take the leaves from something else. Yeah, that's what I like about buying like picks at the store, the Dollar Tree, mm -hmm. some of the stuff I don't like in the picks, and I, I do the same thing. I just dissect it. This is what I like, just this part. <laughs> and I don't like the berries from this one, so that's going to work. And these are dusty. I should have dusted those off. Hmm. I used to work in a nursing home. And I was the housekeeper 
floor person. And, uh, there, it was, it was not fabulous. Let me tell you. I was working and I'm like, um, what are you guys doing about the fake planners that are like dusty? And they're like, well, we try and wipe them off. I'm like, what? so why don't you just hose them off? Hi, right, Teresa. And they're like, what? I'm like, just take them to the sink and hose them off. <laughs> so every, every month I would deplant all the fake plants and take them to the, the tub and hose them off. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you guys can like clean this stuff. You just hose it, hose it down. They're like, we didn't know you could do that. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. All those little, it's just fabric. And as long as it's good enough yeah. to dry, you know, you can totally do that. So I'm going to drop a couple of these fun little berries. They were, they're kind of cool because whatever they painted them with is cracking. So it's like, gives them a little Ooh. bit of texture. Or maybe it's dirt. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's clean it. <laughs> they do kind of have a coating on some of them. It's like over the styrofoam. It's like they dump dip the styrofoam balls in something when they do those little berries. Yeah, these ones are not styrofoam though. I don't know what these are. Hmm. But they're they're pretty cute. So I'm just gonna put a yeah, pile of three I, in there. I like all your little decorations you got there. Yeah, some of these are ancient. They're back in the day. I'm accustomed to that, Elizabeth. <laughs> yes you know because so, you can hit these at yard sales for like 25 cents and I think that's what I paid yeah. for the bell it was like 25 cents in a pile of stuff and I'm like um can I have all this pile of stuff for like two bucks and they're like yes please take it all yeah I like doing that too it's awesome oh look at that so I'm just gonna actually see if I can't pull some of these berries let me get my well, wire snips i definitely know what project i won't be doing again for gift toppers what is a gift topper well i make these little ornaments and you can just tie these to the top when you put your bows and your stuff on your gifts oh, okay. i just take the little ornaments and i slip my i slip the tag through the through the loop and then I tie it or tape it onto the package so they have like a little ornament, like gift topper. Oh, Dawn, these are styrofoam. Yeah, that's on the, what I thought. I on mean, the inside. I am old to remember. <laughs> on the inside. But you know, it's got like this hard shell on the outside. Yeah. That is it's so weird. Yeah. Well, I'll be darned. There you go. I was like, well, they're kind of stiff. I don't know. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think it's it's not that like uh, that styrofoam that I did that stuff with that I you can like sand, but it's that foamy hard foam. Yeah. Inside, or at least my berries are like even my pip berries that I have around my house for decoration. Same thing. They're uh, styrofoam. Hi, Cordelia. Ow, ow, ow. I need you to stay put, stinkers. Yeah, 2 a.m. Yeah, it's pretty late there. Cordelia said lurking. <laughs> yes, Debbie Day. She did. It's funny. All right. <laughs> Linda says, okay, back to my crap mess. I mean, craft table. <laughs> right it took me like two days to clean my hot mess that i had going on in here it was disgusting I you, did you say back to your crap table <laughs> that's what uh, linda says back to my oh, crap back to my crap table <laughs> oh, yeah. that's hilarious I want these teeny weeny ones in here. No, don't fall down. Okay, cool off already. My goodness. 
Where's my poofer? I lost where I was. Oh, All right. I was gluing you down. <laughs> I don't know. The back's not pretty. I'm trying to think of what I could do. Um, Cover it. A piece of heart or snowflake. Or something. Yeah. I was going to put ribbon, but I'm like, what good is the ribbon on the very back? I mean, I guess I could, like, double it up so it looks like. Uh, Jim, Jim says, craft, not crap. She's not opening a casino. <laughs> Get a crap stable. <laughs> that's crap funny. Table. Well, that's what I thought you said. <laughs> crap table. And you did because that's what Linda said. The crap. Back to my crap mess. I mean, craft table. Yep. That's what she said. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. Okay. <laughs> ah! Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I just gutted this one and didn't mean to. I need to put it back on. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, so I want these little bitties... I kind of feel like I want these little bitties hanging out up here. But I don't need that that long. That's for sure. So we're going to shorten that. Ugh, I'm almost done. You are? I, I think so. I think so. Okay, me too. <laughs> me too. I'm calling it done after I get this little no. angelic piece together. <laughs> Okay, so I just need to put a little bit of glue on this. Uh, <laughs> my table's always full of crap. crap. <laughs> and then that will sit right in there. Right, hiding all of that glue. That'll hang up like that. And then I just need... I think I just need... Ugh, one more little branchy. Right there, tell you what, though, to kind of hide that. That lunar paste sticks to my fingers. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, I needed to glue some berries. Where'd my berries go? I broke off some berries. Where'd they go? There's one. Don't burn my fingers. Don't burn my fingers. One little berry. Oh, I love it. Oh, that. yours looks so good. Now the cleanup. I should have had the cleanup done beforehand. Sorry about that. But, you know, wasn't prepared. I'm never Clean prepared. Up what? Your desk? Um, no, like washing the bells and stuff and sanding them. Oh. I sh but, yeah. uh. All part of the process. I'm lunar pasting all my creases of my little uh, angel here. I guess I don't need the ribbon because I didn't use it. So I've got enough stuff here for Oops. another project. Oh, mine didn't stick. Oh no. I kind of wanted to, but didn't. Oh my so goodness, Maybe I just do it to the front of her. Got my little bells in there. Oh. Bye, Leah. Bye, Leah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Better. Look it. Good night. I think I did a pretty darn good job using uh, things that have fallen off my Christmas trees and other projects. I don't remember exactly what was on this bell, but uh, we we added some goodies. I love it. That is definitely beautiful. I love it. How you incorporated the little Christmas balls and stuff, too. Yeah, this was a little pick. I feel like this was in the set when I got this. I could be wrong. It could have came off of this. But I just hit it with a little bit of alcohol and kind of spruced them back up. Yeah. So, yeah, it could be a centerpiece on a table. Or you can, ooh, you know what? You could even dangle this from a light fixture if it was high enough up. 
cannot... In a doorway up top? Huh? Yeah. It was um, the middle of a swag. Oh, yes. You know. At the bottom of the staircase. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. So let's zoom in on Dawn because I know what she's making is little teeny weeny. Let's spotlight. We haven't <laughs> spotlighted you in a while. And then if you could lift it up so we could get a closer look of it. Does it show? Oh, let me get my light up here. Oh, look Where's this lighting? That's the How's cutest that? little paper angel. I yeah, just it. accordion fold. She's a little messy right now. That's all right. <laughs> and then we did. I like that too. It'll look cute on a on the top of a package, right? Right. Because you can just slip this the strings right through the holes on tags. So you have the two from, and then you just, you know, hook it to your gift. I love that. Could you modify that so it actually laid flat? Yeah, you probably could. I don't see why not. You just take half off, because look. Oh, yeah. Because then you could, Absolutely. like, just glue them to the package. <laughs> yeah. Or the tag, which would be a, a good idea. Like, I've still got to work on my tags for the kids' Christmas presents. I want to get them wrapped. I can't believe it's almost Christmas, you guys. Like, well, if I thought I could find all my things, I was going to do a couple of these little guys, but I'll save that for another night. Oh, those are cute. Or you could do a pre-recorded of crap with me. I would watch it. If it was a two-hour video of you making that, I would watch it. Just saying. I would watch it. These are from your, um, your favorite girl that you like to watch, Antonia. She did these. Yeah. I've got, somebody said they were mailing me one, so. <laughs> I got one coming. I would have two if you mailed oh, me one. <laughs> I would mail you one if someone doesn't mail you one. But what I'm saying is I would have two if you mailed me one. <laughs> oh, yes, you would have two. <laughs> More is merrier, right? Like I said, I did them as gift toppers, and I have little felt letters. So for, like, last year on um, all of Willie's niece's um gifts i put the letter of their first name like their initials oh so they had them for the tree they were hooked to their gift but then they could take them off and then they had them for the tree that's cute idea yeah I like that idea and you could put the year on them you know you could, you could do all kinds of little things but that's what i like taking things like this that someone might not keep it but yeah it's cute if they did want to keep it they could right is yeah it's just hook them to the hook them to gifts like you would tags but you could put the tags right on the back or you could stick this like this one i could cover the back by sticking it to the tag oh you guys oh my goodness <laughs> i opened my lunar paste oh no and there's like nothing left look it <laughs> it's so empty uh that will go so far, though. I know. Look, I've got this little tiny bit, and I'm telling you, I have used it and used it and used it. But I wanted to see if and I could, because I have one of those berries, the styrofoam is exposed, so I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could paste that little styrofoam oh, yeah. ball up. There you go. So... And yes, there is actually quite a bit in here. If you guys get your spatulas out... And really get in there. There is so much paste in these things. Yes. And, and if you don't you've... be afraid to use your fingers. <laughs> right. Just reach down in there and grab that. Ah. Now I'll probably have to do two layers because. Oh, Just LM says you guys should do a craft with us live where you give us a supply list and we can craft along. Well, that would be interesting. That's a, Yeah, that would be interesting. Like one week we could send out or post it in the group, like things if you'd like to craft along. Yeah, we could do that, like um, give it a test run in one month and say, you know, give them a month to 
well, you know, like three weeks, give them three weeks to prep for the project. Right. And then, like, January, yeah. January, you could be like a, uh, a winter themed craft or something and have people, um, bring paper, scissors, glue, <laughs> music paper or whatever, you know? Yeah. People grab stuff out of their general supplies. I painted my berry. <laughs> My lunar paste. Now I gotta find a place for it to dry. <laughs> oh, look at me. Just LM. She wants to make a gnome. Well, maybe I can find the stuff, and maybe I can do these on my live tomorrow. Um. So yeah. I just need to find some, find the stuff I need. I didn't have time tonight. I was lazy. Well, <laughs> I'm. She's probably doing that so that so. So if you had a supply list for that gnome, say like you need yarn for the cap, yarn for the beard, and right. then whatever you do for your nose, and then an, a guesstimate yeah. of how much we need. Right. And then if we need, do we need a... A little bit of fluff. You only need a little tiny bit of fluff, but you know what you can use if you don't have it is paper towel or tissue. Okay, and then um, how how do you make the hat? Do we need a cardboard or anything for that? Yes, um, it takes a toilet paper roll. Oh, I just threw one in the garbage. Well, go get it. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. I just said, well, I don't have that. And I said, you have toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> right? She just didn't have the yarn. I would use a tube of lunar paste. It would make more sense instead of a jar. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know about that, Jim. A tube of lunar paste because <laughs> I'm going to show you something, you guys. But don't nobody steal my idea. I have, I have, I have plans for this. <laughs> if you use up all your lunar paste and you leave the lid off to dry... You get like flakes and I was, I have a plan to use this in some resin. So lunar paste to lunar flakes. Yes. So Love it. if you had a tube, you wouldn't, you would have to demolish the tube to let the extra stuff dry. But yeah, I literally have gold lunar paste flakes. Don't nobody steal my idea. <laughs> but I I want to <laughs> make some resin stuff with it. But so and like now you have the jar too. You can cover that jar with something. You yeah. Know, maybe some decorative duct tape or washi and use it for something else. But uh, and this this is way too much. I've got too much paste in here. When this is actually more empty, I'll let it dry and then I'll have peely bits. Peely bits. Nice. But uh, I do, I do like, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm going to play with it, Jim. He says, I wonder if it would dissolve in resin because it's a water base and resin is some other beast. So I don't know. We're going to see. And I'll let you all know when I do it. <laughs> but uh, I do like having it in the jar. The only thing I don't like is the lip. Like, that's my only thing, is this part, I wish it was wider so that we could scrape the edges easier. But I understand, you know, the mechanics, it's kind of weird to have this part wider because you got to have a lid, you know, and so they get it nice and thingy. But yeah, that's my only thing is not being able to scrape the edges very well. But you get your finger up in there, you get it all out and use it up. Oh, that goes down there because it's not empty yet. But yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think, oh, wait. Oh, I almost forgot you guys. Yeah. I hope everybody's still here because you have to be present to win. Okay. Let me flip that over. Oh, that's right. It's the card. Yeah. So I've got, what did I say? Two, four, six. Six, eight, yeah, there's a dozen hand painted cards. 
So there's two that have um, stuff on them. Those two. You guys remember making those? And then there's like that one and that one and that one. That one and that one and that one and that one. And Linda's going live. So we'll make this quick. Who, who would like all 12 of these? You'll need your own envelopes, but you could use them like little note cards. I mean, yeah, some of them or whatnot, but uh, if you guys, you guys want to enter to win, enter win, by all means, give a little shout out. Say I want them. Um, uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to say U.S. only. Um, because it's going to cost me $15 to ship it. Unless you want to pay shipping out of U.S., U.S. only. Okay, so, um, yeah. I do apologize, but if you want to pay shipping and you're not in the U.S., you can enter to win, and then U.S. is definitely open, and I'll send them... <sighs> Jim wants to know if you can do six and six. Um, no, I think I'm just going to ship them all out at once. Do a dozen yeah. cards. Um, yeah. If you guys... Are you putting names on a wheel, or are you just writing them down? I'm just going to write them down. If you guys okay. like this, um, throughout the year, I will put them in six packs, and we'll do a giveaway every so often, like once a month or something. Um do two six packs okay where is my pen Marguerite Francis hello sorry um, sorry Elizabeth no you guys are fine I lost my regular writing pen it should be in this tub but it's not so I'm gonna use my pencil pardon me okay um Lunar Pace win. Okay, Cordelia, is that a question? Like, or am I writing your name down? Cordelia wants them. Marguerite wants them. Okay, I can't write that. Mar I, can read, I can read off to you if you want. Marguerite, Cordelia, just... Yep, uh, just LM. Okay. Which, I don't know. Uh, Ramona. Ramona. Donna. Donna. Maureen. M A U R E N. Okay. Um, Jim, did you want in on this? I don't see your name. Uh, Maureen, Donna, Crystal. Crystal wants them. Crystal. Marguerite wants them. I got Marguerite. And, um, you're writing my name down, Cordelia says. Write the winner with the lunar paste. Write the. <laughs> what? Okay. Um. Uh, did you want to enter, Miss Dawn? Um. No, I'll let someone else. Okay. Linda. I, mean, I don't mind having them. You know, I love your cards. I have many. <laughs> Linda. I mean, you can put my name down if you want. But, you know, just. It's a great way to send out a watching. quick card. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so I have Cordelia, Marguerite, yes. Just LM, Ramona, Donna, Maureen. Linda. Crystal. Linda. I have Dawn. You guys, that's all I have. Okay. Okay, you did add Linda. Okay. Yeah, I got Linda. And Jim's passing. He's going to let okay. someone else enjoy them. I want this to be fair. Pam! Why is your Pam. name not on there? Is her name not on here? No, I don't see that she wants them. She just made a comment to Deborah saying, Deborah, you can have them if you want to pay postage. Uh, 
And that's it. I don't see that Pam said I want them. She's probably doing like everybody else. Yeah, I got Crystal. I got Miss Crystal. Janine. Oh. Janine, is she there? Well, she's there, but I don't know if she wants to pay postage. I know she's on a oh, fixed she's on income. The phone. She's on the phone. Yeah, she's oh, on is a it fixed income. Too late for me. Janine, Janine, yes. And she's in Canada, too. So that's your your call on those. Um, <laughs> Pam says, because I still have last year's. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Too what? funny. You haven't sent those out. And Gloria says she's passing. Okay. She'll that's, let someone else. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So, um, I just want to double check with Janine. I know she's on the phone. Is it too late for me? Oh, no. She's like, okay, never mind. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sorry, my dear. I know that my postage bill is going to be sky high when I go to the post office tomorrow. Uh -huh. So, I got to keep it... <laughs> Keep it low. Right. But you guys got Christmas cards coming. Okay. So let me find a little box. Little we'll say box. You put them in a hat and I'll draw one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So who is this that I just folded up? We just folded up Dawn. Um, Linda is in the, on the list, Jim. Linda. She added Linda, she said. Okay. So I'm going to list them off again as I throw them in the bin. Dawn. <laughs> Linda. Crystal, um, Donna, mm -hmm. Maureen, Cordelia, Ramona, Just LM, and Marguerite. I'm wish, gonna, I wish I knew their name. Do you know the, their name? Is the Just L M. Yeah. No, they're new. They started the the hobby the other day with. Uh, oh sweet. Debbie J. Debbie yeah, J. She, she was hopping along with Debbie J. and um, all the all the peeps. Excellent. Um, I'm just gonna steer these for a hot second. If your name was not called. And you're not messaging on the thingy. You have like a minute. That's it. I'm only going to let it go for a minute. Okay. And then we'll draw. Do, do, do. Oh, got to get you out of there. Look, I'm using the splat box. <laughs> I, saw that. I was like, hey, your box looks like my box. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not seeing anybody putting up new comments. I'm sure it's caught oh. up by now as I'm shaking them all in my view. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty caught up. Okay. Okay, I got one name. Popcorn! Popcorn. <laughs> that sounds good. <gasps> you see who it is? Oh, it's Patrick! Marguerite! 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 That is gonna be. I'll put. I'm gonna put your Christmas card in with these. <laughs> so thank you all. That was for the cards, and what's this winner for? Oh, then forget it. It's a lag on YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> I was watching you on the phone, and then I was watching on the computer, and I'm like. She do it again? <laughs> yep. So, um, I'm not sending envelope smags, but, uh, yeah. They're, they'll be on their way. <laughs> Yay! So, yeah, I get a, I'm going to put it in with your Christmas card into a booble mailer and get that out to you tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for hanging out. Ms. um... Linda is going to be next up, so I will go see you in hers as long as it tells me that she's going live. The last few days, it hasn't said anybody's going live. She said at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. I will give everybody time to take a potty break and get a fresh uh, hot cup of coffee and a, yep. so. Fabulous. a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thank you all for hanging out. Um, you guys are special and fabulous. 
Debbie Carroll, we're just on our way out. You can come back oh. on uh, Wednesday, 7 p.m. I'll be back live. Um, I have another yeah. guest. Another guest on Wednesday. Thank you, Just LM. Thank you for joining tonight. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, wait.